Blog Talk Radio. Yes, my name is Matthew E. O'Neill. I'm the number one ranked editor for Everpedia.org, which is an internet encyclopedia set run for profit and located on Wilshire Boulevard in Santa Monica, California. I have a Master of Business Administration from Regis University. The main campus is located in, located in Denver, Colorado. I'm also an ex-athlete. I beat Preston Hartzog when he was a member of the U.S. Army World Class Athlete Program in USA Boxing. Hartzog was a super heavyweight. Hartzog beat Wesley Cabbage Carrera on November 14, 2000 in Hawaii. And Carrera was in four UFC events. He holds, he holds a K-1 kickboxing win over Peter McNeely. McNeely fought Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson made it over $10 million for that fight. This episode is going to be about, about Michael Conlon. Michael Conlon is promoted and managed by MTK Global. MTK Global is the premier boxing promotional and management company based out of the United Arab Emirates. The company is formally based out of the United Kingdom. I've written dozens of articles on MTK Global's fighters, and I created the Michael Conlon Professional Boxer page. Now, Michael Conlon won the World Boxing Association Interim Featherweight title on August 6, 2021 in the United Kingdom when he defeated T.J. Doherty. This marks the first world championship for Conlon. Michael Conlon was born on November 19, 1991, and he is a professional boxer from Ireland. He boxes in the featherweight division, and he has also boxed in the junior featherweight division. Conlon had a rather distinguished amateur career. As an amateur, he reached number one in the AIBA Bantamweight World Rankings. He won a bronze medal at the 2012 Olympics and a gold at the 2015 World Championships. He also won gold medals in the 2014 Commonwealth Games in the Bantamweight division. He has been one of Ireland's most successful amateur fighters of all time and he received a top 10 ranking by a major professional governing body in 2019. His father has worked as his coach. He initially initially learned how to box from his father. And Michael Conlon has an older brother, Jamie, that is also a professional boxer. Conlon has a girlfriend and two children. He was on Celebrity Apprentice Ireland in 2013. He has told me via Facebook that he is proud of his Irish heritage and that he brings a warrior mentality into the ring. My name is Matthew E. O'Neill, and I am the author of the audiobook MTK Global on Everipedia. It was released in August of 2021. Michael Conlon represents Ireland, and he boxes out of Ireland and represented the country at the 2012 Olympics as a flyweight and the 2016 Summer Olympics as a bantamweight. He won the gold medal in the bantamweight division at the 2015 AIBA World Championships, and he was named as the RTE Sports Person of the Year in 2015. He competed in the World Series of Boxing from 2013 to 2015. He won a bronze medal in the 2012 Olympics. He was not as lucky in the 2016 Summer Olympics as he left that Olympics empty-handed with no medals. Although he did not secure a medal, he demonstrated superior boxing skill. After the Olympics, there was rumors that he would be signed by Mayweather Promotions. Those rumors were false, but he was scouted by most major boxing promoters because of his skill level. As of August 2021, he has a professional record of 16 wins and zero losses and is ranked 20 out of 1,029 in the world in the junior featherweight division by BoxRuck. He is managed and promoted by MTK Global. Lee Eaton of MTK Global has been very influential in his pro career. 
He went five wins and zero losses in 2018. That includes finishing the year with a, a decision victory over Jason Cunningham in Manchester, England. He won five boxing matches in 2017. He was able to obtain a top 10 ranking by a major governing body in 2019. Bob Arum of Top Rank Boxing confirmed Michael Codlin's professional debut at the theater at the Madison Square Garden in 2017. Codlin has been a popular draw in New York City. He defended the World Boxing Organization Intercontinental Featherweight title by defeating Vladimir Nikitin on November 14, 2019 in Madison Square Garden. In his first defense on August 3, 2019, he defeated Diego Alberto Ruiz. He knocked out former world title challenger Sofiane Tekach on August 15, 2020. Colin vs. Maruti Baluta streamed live and exclusively in the United States on ESPN Plus at 4 p.m. Eastern Time on April 30, 2021. The bout was promoted in conjunction with Top Rank Boxing. Michael Conlon stated that he had a, had a disappointing 2020 that started with the COVID-related that, that, that started with the global coronavirus pandemic and the global coronavirus pandemic has affected his career and his training schedule. Now, Michael Conlon did something very historic on August 6, 2021. He became a world champion for the first time. He won the World Boxing Association featherweight interim world title by beating TJ Dohoney. The match was held in the United Kingdom. And my name is Matthew E. O'Neill, O apostrophe N E I L. And Michael Condon has told me via Facebook that he fights for Ireland. Although he technically is from the United Kingdom, he says that he fights out of Ireland. I know that's a very sensitive subject to a lot of people that live in England, Ireland, and Northern Ireland. If I was a boxing fan and I wanted to, to watch him fight, then if I go on Expedia.com or CheapTickets.com, it technically, technically says the United Kingdom. Michael Conlon, Conlon is technically from the United Kingdom. Where he is from, where he was born and raised, is the United Kingdom and has been for over 220 years. I'd like to bring out one thing to our listeners on Blog Talk Radio, a, a historical fact. A lot of people don't know that Portland, Maine, Londonderry, Northern Ireland, and London, England, all belonged to, to the United Kingdom in 1815. During the War of 1812, the United Kingdom regained some of its territory. Portland, Maine, London, England, and Londonderry, Northern Ireland, all belonged to the United Kingdom in 1815 as the UK re re regained some of the country that they lost in the Revolutionary War of 1776. Now, Michael Carlin is a, is a very skillful boxer. I've watched clips of him spar and train. He has very fast hands, good power and shoulder snap. The man has two children, and he takes his career extremely seriously as he provides for his family. This is another great champion managed by MTK Global. MTK Global manages Tyson Fury, who won the championship by beating Vladimir Klitschko, and Vladimir and Tyson Fury has been lineal champion for over six years, for about six years. I, I anticipate Michael Conlon will have a tremendous future. I think he will gain other title belts, and I believe that he will be the undisputed featherweight champion within a few years. I think that highly of him. I boxed myself back in the late 1990s. I beat Jeffrey Nakin, and Nakin signed a bat on worthpoint.com, which is an antiques website. Nakin was LSU scholarship athlete for baseball. They were national champions. I also, I also beat Preston Hardzog. I was a heavyweight 
actually a super heavyweight of the amateur ranks. And I really respect the lighter weight fighters because I think that the lighter weight fighters have the greatest skill. Going back to Michael Conlon's title winning effort this month, he won by a unanimous decision. He won the fight clearly on all three judges' scorecards. Thank you.